it's about that time of year where we are starting to think about spring cleaning. However, if you have been following along with the Lady of the House method, which you can find in my Lady of the House life book, and I have several different patterns available, and I am happy to announce that soon I will be having the academic Lady of the House life book coming out, which will go from 2024, it will be July of 2024 to June of 2025. So that is to come if you feel like, you know, you don't want to get one just yet because maybe, especially if you are going to go with a hardcover. I mean, if you like this something blue design or any of the designs that, um, you know, I already have available or if you are new to my channel, maybe it's something that you haven't heard of yet. I have um, the cleaning schedule for the lady of the house in here. It's also a planner and then, um, but I have new designs coming out and I'm also going to be adding a few things in the academic one. So with that being said, I wanted to cover a couple of things that I'm focusing on right now that I just got done doing and then what I'm going to be focusing on in my living space well one of the living spaces today is living space day so I am focusing on my windows I know I talked about this in my community tab last week when I was not able to upload one of my videos and I didn't do it I was close but then I just started focusing on getting the necessary things ready for company, which my dad and my stepmom and my sister were coming into town. And I talked all about the disappointments that, you know, how I handle disappointments over on Patreon because there was there were a few disappointments, not with them, of course, but just getting things ready. And I was asked by a um, subscriber, how do I deal with disappointments? And so I just thought it was the perfect time to talk about that because I was especially feeling um, some disappointments in that time. So <clears throat> sometimes that's the best time to talk about it. it just causes you to reflect on it. But um, I did not get to the windows like I thought I would. But today I am feeling energized. And as we know with the Lady of the House method, when you are feeling that, you just take advantage. Especially when we're talking about a space such as the dining room, I just feel that, um, you know, there's really only so much deep cleaning that that space needs. So you just take it in sections. And when you do it that way, it really, isn't overwhelming. So you revisit these spaces every single week. And that is something that I think makes this method very attainable. It makes it very just something that you can look forward to because you don't have to do too much in that time. When you're taking care of the everyday tasks, then you get to focus on your daily focus space. Um, you just pick something that needs to be done. So I'm going to share those things that need to be done today, such as the windows, but there's one other thing that I wanted to do. But I also wanted to talk to you about something that I just did that I've never done before because I've never really had a coffee pot that I was using frequently enough, I guess. So my mom is a really big coffee drinker and I blame her for getting me really into drinking coffee because before, I would say before this last time that she has been gone uh, for this extended time, I only drank socially. I only drank coffee socially. Um, and I have this coffee pot now and it's a white coffee pot and I was just noticing all the gunk on the inside. I have to say, with it being white, you can really see all of the coffee that has stained everything. So I wanted to descale it, and I just, I mean, I heard about how to do it before, but because it wasn't something that I had and did all the time, you know, it's one of those things that you forget. So I wanted to focus on something that I normally don't focus on in the kitchen, so I did that. And with everyone saying, you know, if you want to deodorize a room, use white vinegar. So I thought 
the best place to do this and a big reason why I don't use white vinegar for cleaning is because my husband really hates it and he can smell it I can definitely smell it yes it goes away over time but it's when I started doing that in the house before he was miserable he was just upset he said please do not use that to clean he is so sensitive to vinegar so I thought well I can use this because you're supposed to do uh, one part vinegar one part water and just run it through the coffee pot if you aren't aware of this run it through the coffee pot and um, it says one like one cycle well this morning and I, I I went against my better judgment this morning I just made coffee as usual and I could taste vinegar in it so I threw, I dumped that out and then I ended up making a fresh pot and no problems now. So I would say run it through once with the one part vinegar, one part water, and then do one part or do the whole thing of water again and everything should be fine. But I ended up putting this coffee pot in what I am calling now my morning room. We're no longer calling it an office, we are calling it the morning room. And I look forward to sharing all about this a little later on and how I came to call it this. And I think that in the new Lady of the House Life book that should be coming out um, in a couple of months, we are going to have the morning room as a space that, you know, we are going to do different things. I'm going to just bring back the morning room. We are bringing back the morning room thanks to the soft sophisticate who um, educated me about this space. And then I did a lot of research and I just think it it's so beautiful just to even think about, just to even say. So ladies, we are going to have a morning room and everyone needs one. And it doesn't have to be its own space, but you can create one, okay? Figure out where this is going to be, and I definitely want a picture. I want you to send me your pictures of your morning room because I am going to feature them, and this is going to become a thing. We are bringing it back. This is something that was in the Victorian era. We will get into that later, but anyway, that's what I did with my coffee pot. I brought it into my morning room and thought this would be a great way to deodorize that space and I leave the door open all the time now throughout the day that way the dogs can go in and out well they have a doggy door in there but they could just go in and out the air could just you know it's just so beautiful right now where I live it's beautiful it it feels like spring we are in the upper 70s now or you know between the high 60s and mid 70s I should say and it just feels so wonderful and now I'm in the mood to do all the things maybe take care of different spaces that I wouldn't normally think like the way that I would be taking care of them there there are certain things that you want to focus on at different times of the year however spring cleaning all the things that you would do to spring clean make sure to work that into your daily you know your daily routine of going through those daily focus areas okay so this week it was the coffee pot we descaled it feels great I'm so happy to have done that and my mom is about to come into town and today's focus is really going to be about getting my mom's space prepared for her but um, I wanted to make sure to clean that and that way I can bring it back to her space because she loves just having the coffee pot in her house and um, I mean that's where I'm going to be going in the morning now to enjoy my coffee is to be with her that's the only time I really drink it anyway I call her when I'm having coffee so that's how much of a social coffee drinker I am I don't really have my coffee unless I'm talking to my mom on the phone so today I already put the comforter outside that was taking longer to dry and normally I don't really hang things outside in this Las Vegas air because our air stinks here. I do not know what really good smelling laundry from, you know, being 
air dried outside smells like so uh, but I just wanted to get it dried thoroughly because I've had it in my room trying to dry but it just didn't completely dry so it's time to get our aprons on by the way this was an inspired by Nikki apron that is my favorite from all of the designs that I had um, but they're no longer available unfortunately maybe maybe one day okay we're not gonna say never maybe one day my oldest daughter will be making them and I will be selling them again but at this point we are not so today I want to focus on the windows the windows that are in the dining room I'm not even going to focus on the one in the living room just yet we're going to uh, you know a little at a time so we're going to do that and one other thing that I noticed I was just looking at them when I was uh, straightening up and cleaning up my dining room table on the back of the chairs they really the dust settles so I want to wipe those down really easy stuff to do floors have already been done so we're not going to focus on that but that's it so that's where I'm at with all of that and then we can focus on getting my mom's deck and her house all prepared because she comes tomorrow <music> white washcloth when I started so as you can see and look at this I mean this is dirt and dog hair and just it's really gross really so um, you know just those unseen places or the places that really nobody would even notice I would say I mean it's not one of the things that jumps out at me especially because of the color of the furniture it hides it pretty well I would say but it's still something that you know is there and that could definitely use some attention so you feel really good when you are taking care of the things that you have I really think that that is a big contributor to contentment is just taking care of what you have and being grateful for it and wanting what you have and yes i'm still i'm still on the fence about painting this beautiful china hutch and table that was my grammy's and i just haven't made up my mind about it so i'm still leaving it as is i feel like i still would like to change the um chair 
cushions. And my daughter for a while, she was in the process of making the slip covers for it. But um, she stopped, her sewing machine broke, and then we just didn't get it fixed yet. Um, we're actually getting her a new one, but um, I don't even know if I would go with the same, just because with the cream, it was, everything was so obvious. <laughs> it's just, it's like they would always be in the wash. So I think I'm, I'm looking for something else. I've kind of have my thoughts about what I would like to do. Definitely something lighter. I've even thought of green, um, like a green and cream design possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see. But as far as the color of it, it just, it's really hard for me right now because Part of me loves it, but then I also see it sometimes and I'm just thinking, this doesn't go at all with, you know, my decor or, you know, but then I think if it was done well, it would go like all of the colors, um, especially, especially the chair cushions. I really feel it's the chair cushions right now that are bothering me, just the color of them. So anyway, once I fix that, then we will see. But okay, enough about the furniture. I love this furniture. I don't want to like get rid of it or anything. I'm just, you know, on the fence about the color of it. Okay, so now it is time to dust. Let me show you, like what am I doing here? Look at this.
She is going to try on one of those suit, uh, the skirt suits. She really loves it. So um, I have them hanging over there, but one of them just sold on Poshmark. So I need to package that up. Although I want to finish the cleaning, but uh, Marcella is coming over right now. So um, I'm just going to make it really nice for her in here. She can just use my room to try it on. And then... I will finish my windows once she leaves, but, um, and then I need to focus on my mom's space too. So, oh, this dress right here, this I got at Ross, okay, just recently. And there were many of them out, and I was very tempted to gather all of them up and put them in my Poshmark closet. Let me know if you would like this style. And, um, at this point, I just don't really get many things because I don't want to have a stock of it in my, you know, and I don't have anywhere to put them, really, except for in my wardrobe. But I just don't want to have a stock of things that I am having to store right now. So, and then especially right now, it's not a good time for me to do that. But if you do like these, this particular style. I would be happy to fill my shop with it just because, or my closet with it, because um, it's so pretty. I don't want to get into having too many different ones, but I also know how hard it is to find um, what you're looking for at Ross, from Ross to Ross. But if you want me to be your personal shopper, I would be happy to do so. And of course, I always throw in something a little extra in the package. So there is that, and it would be wrapped beautifully. But anyway, she's going to be here. Now.
She needs to get some things done and I need to get some things done. So um, it was time to end the conversation. Jorge is going to be home in about 45 minutes. So I have some stuff that I would like to accomplish before then, such as cleaning my mom's place. She's going to be here tomorrow morning and you know, getting that um, comforter put in there and everything. I am actually going to split this video up. This is going to be a part two over at mom's place. Um, so if you're interested in that, please head over to Patreon because that is going to be the lady of the house diary over there. So um, I didn't get to the second window, you know, on the left side of the fireplace, but when things come up such as um, my friend coming over. She actually did purchase uh, one of the skirt suits, so I had to delete the one size from my closet, but I sold one, so I'm going to be packaging that up. Um, the mail man already came today, so I will just put that in the mail tomorrow. I'm not going to like try to rush and put that together right now and then drive over there before it closes. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow to do that. And um, that will be about, you know, that's it. I mean, sometimes you just need to revisit certain areas another day. And so that's what we're going to do. We're not going to stress over not doing both windows in one day. It actually takes a lot longer than, than, um, like it's not a quick thing to do the windows because there are several layers to it. And I did clean the curtains the day before, the day before my friend came over. Um, I cleaned the curtains because I knew that that was like the last thing that was probably smelling in that space was because, you know, my little peppercorn had marked on there. But so that was done, the curtains, and then it was about cleaning like the windowsill and then the windows themselves, front, well, both sides of them, and then, of course, the blinds. The blinds take the longest, but I really do notice a difference from those windows, the older windows, to the newer windows. My newer windows really don't get dust. Well, I mean, there's always a level of dust on them, but nothing like the old windows get. So those usually need more attention, but um, just let me know in the comments below what are you going to be focusing on this month when it comes to, or even just this week when it comes to the spring cleaning portion, or let's just call it detailed cleaning. But of course, um, with us going into the springtime, we tend to focus on you know different things maybe than we would at other times of the year. So that is what I have focused on. And if you haven't descaled your coffee pot, I hope that you've been inspired to do so, even though I didn't share with you the whole process of it. But I do want to get on a, um, like more on a routine of doing that. I could even see myself doing that maybe once a month. Um, it just, it really depends on how frequently I use it. So anyway that is what i have for you today oh we wanted to talk about the morning room right well let's talk about the morning room so i wanted to read something to you in here this is from living spaces so how appropriate because we do talk about the living spaces okay so it says what is the morning room in victorian homes in the 18th and 19th centuries there was along with the dining room kitchen and bedrooms what was called a morning room 
This was a room in the house where typically the lady of the house would prepare for the day ahead. While morning room is an outdated term, the idea of dedicating a space for morning preparation can still be applied to modern homes today. I, of course, just loved um, reading all about this. How to decorate a morning room. Dedicate a space in your home for morning meditation to gather your thoughts to make the day's plans. First, choose a space with lots of windows. You'll want the natural light to flood in and wake you up. Then bring in some comfortable seating. One of the best ways to use a morning room is for the things you want to do but don't need to do. Use this space to carve out some downtime before business. If you want to follow the Victorian way, make sure to include a desk and use it every morning. You can also bring in some inspiring art to clear your head or infuse the air with an energizing citrus scent. At the end of the day, or in this case, the beginning of the day, this space is all about early morning peace, quiet, and good vibes. So I'm actually going to link the article to this in the description box below if you're interested in reading more about it. It talks about um, morning room furniture and decor ideas. Um, that's the last thing that's in there, but I'm not going to finish that out. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the soft sophisticate told me about this and when I read it, I was just really excited to like to dedicate this space as my morning room, even though it's not a space that faces where the sun rises, it's still a space that I come to for that quiet, for um, doing those little things that I need to do to make sure that I'm setting myself up for a productive uh, day ahead and just to prepare for the day. So it just makes a lot of sense and I look forward to sharing more about it in future videos of course and I think that with that in mind it just makes me look at this whole space differently um, whereas I already wanted to like not overcrowd this space but I do feel like I especially over in this corner where I have the dog beds and everything I feel like I can um, utilize that space better. I want to have a, like a nice, comfortable chair in there. I'm actually thinking of bringing, um, for now, I'm thinking of bringing my blue chair in there, in here. And then that will open up a little bit more space in the living room. We still use that uh, recliner in there, but we're not using it all the time, especially on a daily basis because um, throughout the week, we usually don't like watch movies or anything like that. Uh, the kids are busy doing other things. And um, I just think that it will be nice in here. I think that the dogs will enjoy that too, you know, having that when they're, as this is also the space where I keep the dogs. But I don't know how long we're going to have the crate in here. Maybe I can find like another little area for the crate, maybe right over here by the door. I don't know. We will just have to see. So I'm excited to get to work on this. This room is very blue, so that blue chair will definitely look good in here if we're doing a whole monochromatic look in here. Anyway, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope that this video inspired you in some way, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Mm -hmm.